welcome back guys so i'm returning to hacker rank after quite a bit of time let's say a short break and i see that now we have this new option that get your skill certified so today we'll be attempting this problem solving basic and the video of today will be a little bit different than our other video because today i won't you know explain i'll just code it out myself so let's start and see you know uh, if you can do it or not proceed okay i have to fill my details just give me a moment well they asked for my number and i think i had to verify my otp so after that uh, let's just start let's take our test okay try sample test continue continue preparing your environment okay continue confirmation form yeah declaration and agree and start all right we have two questions so while substring uh, okay let's first go for this while substring mm, given a string lower case this 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 mm, okay yeah so okay i'll just do this in python Button three so if the substring of length k equals to 5 that contains the maximum number of false and uh, keywords okay i have to return the maximum number of false was from that particular window otherwise i just return um, what i just return not present okay so firstly i need to create a string of var let's say a I O U okay and uh, I'll just use a sliding window uh, I'll go sort of that okay for I in range if S of I in sorry wall then increment the value of count by one okay and uh, I'll need a current string that will go from this to K okay and uh, for i in range of 1 to n minus k plus 1 particular in the moon rows if s of i minus 1 and v then um then what should i do okay i i need a variable let's say uh, temp uh, temp minus equals to 1 if s of i plus k minus 1 in v then temp plus equals to 1 okay uh, done 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 now i just need to check my condition if count is less than temp then i need to change the value of count count equals to temp and my curve will be equals to s of i of i plus k yeah and with that and with that uh, just make it be under the behavior cut s i i plus k and at the end of this if count sorry if count equals to equals to zero then we are supposed to return hot and a uh, found small found okay one otherwise i'll just return uh, my car let's try to run this okay let's run all the test cases yeah all the test cases pass let's submit a code pretty simple question balance system file partition looks like a tree Size of the content of that is defined as size of all the five content in the directory plus the sum of all the sizes in its subdirectories. Okay, uh, this is the partition the tree into two smaller ones by cutting one branch so that size of the resulting subtrees are as close as possible. Only two parts, right? Uh, parents file size, function description. Hmm, why did they even? show this tree i thought this was a difficult question 
not that hard let's try to attempt this now <laughs> so let's go uh, firstly I'll just take the length of the parent so I know how much I have and after that I need to create a, a list so that I can store the total uh, weight total weight so for i in a range of uh, n yeah and after that i need to you know calculate its total value so for i in range of n cur equals to i and uh, while cur is equal to minus one Yeah, I need to calculate its value. So total curve it will be equal to um, uh, the file size, right? The file size, sorry, the file size of i. Yeah, and uh, curve will become parent of curve because I need to go back. So this after this, uh, yeah, I'll have the total values. Now let's see. Uh, my value will be equal to a base of total of the zero minus. 2 equal 2 into two sorry minus 2 into total of 1 yeah this will be my minimum value and after that I need to calculate for this for i in range of 2 cross n uh temp will be equal to uh, I'll create temp value absolute of this the only thing that will change is 0 will remain parent and 1 will become yeah 1 will become i yeah okay uh why is it showing me an error okay this is the reason for this and after that i need to check if my val is greater than temp then uh sorry then my val will be equal to temp and uh, yeah i think that should work um uh, well when do i return the value after this return val yeah let's see if it works or not i'll run my test case okay your output 4 expected output 2 i think i did something wrong 0 minus total 2 into i for i in range of 2 comma n of uh, n sum is minus 2 into total of i right yeah correct Cur um yeah sorry for this plus now let's try to run this i think it should work total curve plus equals to file size i current pretty well yeah let's run all the test cases okay yeah it passed all the test cases let me submit this well pretty simple problem solving basic skill certification test so now let me just submit this test yes close this test and okay five i just submit my feedback now what will happen we are evaluating your submitted code this might take up to 30 minutes we will send you an email when your results are ready okay so uh, I, i'll just wait and if i get certified if i get this uh, the certificate i'll just show it to you so it has been 10 minutes and i have received my certification for problem solving basic so this is how you get a problem solving certificate of basic category i think there is more medium and advanced but i just solved the basic one for now and uh, you just have to solve two questions if you are successfully able to solve them within the time limit of i think 90 minutes then you get the certificate it will take 10 minutes to you know figure out that have you cheated or not something of that sort and after that you get your certificate so yeah this was the complete process and thank you